Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I'll be giving you a demo, showing you some swatch comparisons and letting you know my thoughts. So let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tanika and I love reviewing products suitable for fair skin, especially drugstore products. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you take a look around at my channel and consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Today's product, as I mentioned, is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Now this is a newer release to Australia and I picked it up from the e.l.f. website for $10. The range comes with 21 shades. I picked up Fair Beige and Light Ivory. I didn't go for the fairest shades this time around because when I did with the Chemo Concealer, I found that they were really, really fair, a bit too brightening for me. And although I do like a brightening concealer, I was after something that matched my skin tone a little bit more. Now the concealer is described to be lightweight, full coverage and it doesn't flake. It gives your skin a boost of hydration with a satin finish. Now I know a lot of people did not like the 16 hour camo concealer and found it far too drying and far too matte for their under eyes. So if that was you, I think that this is going to be a great option. All right, let's jump into the demo and I'll go over some of my thoughts. So here is what the concealer looks like. As you can see, they've made this lid white so that you can tell the difference between this one and the 16 hour very easily. I'll just do some swatches of the two shades I picked up. This here is Fair Beige and this is Light Ivory. Today I'm going in with the shade Fair Beige. It's got that same nice big doe foot applicator, which I absolutely love. Now I found that the coverage for the hydrated concealer wasn't as full as the camo. So I had a subscriber suggest to just let the concealer sit for about a minute and try that technique and it definitely worked. So I'm just going to apply some and let that sit for a bit before I blend it out with my sponge. Okay, so it's been about a minute and I'm going to go in with my sponge. As you can see, it leaves a really flawless and smooth finish. I agree that it does have a satin finish. There's quite a glow under my eyes and it doesn't settle too much into my fine lines. I have quite a lot of fine lines under my eyes and so I expect most concealers to settle into them to some degree, but this actually does quite a good job at not doing that. And I think it is because it's a bit of a thicker formula that usually tends to help with creasing on me. So I'm just going to go in with a touch more right in that inner corner. So this side I have no concealer and this side is with. Look at that difference. <laughs> And then to set it in place, I like to use my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. This has quite a satin finish to it as well, so it helps to keep that glow rather than having a matte look under the eyes. Now let me show you what the concealers look like swatched against some of my other favorites in my collection. Okay, I have quite a lineup for you today, starting with the Hydrating Concealer. This is the shade Fair Beige, and this is Light Ivory. Here we have the Camo Concealer. This is Fair Beige in the Camo. As you can see, there's a huge difference between those two. And this is Fair Warm in the Camo Concealer. Next, I have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 322 Ivory. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 05 Ivory. Here we have the CoverGirl True Blend in L100. And this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. Overall, I have really been enjoying using this concealer. I love the beautiful satin finish. I find it gives good coverage and I've been enjoying the more hydrated look rather than the super matte look under my eyes lately. 
For the price of $10, I think it's an absolute steal and would definitely choose this over some other high-end concealers that I own. Well, I know this video was short and sweet, but I hoped it helped you out today. And if it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If I missed anything or you have any other questions, just leave me a comment below and I will get right back to you. And if you want to go and watch my review on the 16-hour camo concealer, I will have that linked in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and you can also come follow me over on Instagram. I hope that you are all having a fabulous day wherever you are and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.